crabs, sea urchins, anemones and sea stars. This is a unique exhibit giving students the opportunity to get up close and personal with animals from the ocean. We live in a, a very beautiful and dynamic environment with its own immense biodiversity. And it's not unusual for many of our families to make the, a tropical visit to the ocean, but for so many of our students, they don't have the chance to see marine life. So every year, the Vancouver Aquarium brings that marine life to the students in their aqua van with the goal of fostering a connection to the ocean. So what they do is they suck a whole bunch of water. Imagine you're a crab. Suck a whole bunch of water into your body. And that makes your body swell up even bigger, so your skeleton feels way too small for you. One of our main missions is to promote conservation and education, so the Aquavan fits in really well with that. A lot of times I'm finding kids are kind of more and more knowledgeable about what's going on in the ocean and what they can do to help. So we kind of take what they know and then we'll build from there. The Aquavan has been touring the province since 1994, visiting roughly 40,000 students annually. This year, the main focus is on climate change and its effect on the Arctic. Helping the students make connections from their area here in the Kootenays to the things that are happening in the Arctic. It's very inquiry-based, so we ask them to kind of check out the different artifacts we have. We find out what they're most curious about and we connect that back to their day-to-day -day lives. Sting your food, pull it into your mouth, down into your stomach. Each hour-long session includes four animal stations and the chance to see and touch a variety of marine artefacts. There's also a discussion on an area of the ocean known as the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. So where all the currents in the ocean go, there's sort of a little patch where they slow down and come together and that's where all the garbage collects. So it's actually as big as British Columbia and Alberta combined. Our garbage dumps, when there's storms, it ends up in the river. But the currents all bring it to the same area of our ocean. That's not good for the animals and it's not good for anything else that's living in the ocean. I think it was really bad for the animals and I felt really bad for them. Always a highlight is the chance to get hands on with the animals. One starfish was kind of squishy and one was like really scaly. The first one it felt like it was slime. Then the second one felt, it was really hard. The sea urchin was like really spiky on the top. It was really, really spiky. The sea urchins with their spines, the starfish with their unique sticky texture. It, it, it's something that they, they will take away as probably the highlight of their EMP year. For Go in Invermere, I'm James Farnan.